I don't think the church understands how much we have adopted the, the world's ways. Mm. You know, that's what politicians do with one another. Yeah. Is such and such really conservative? Right. They were they were they were seen with such and such on July yes. 2nd, 1992. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they've coined that the uh the death purity spiral. Something isn't perfect, it can't be good. Yeah, yeah. The last thing they say is a is a is a like pitch for them, vote for such and yeah, such, yeah, yeah, yeah. not them. And it's yeah. kinda like and so we've done it, you know what I'm saying? Like we've been in pitches with people. Especially with people with you know names or whatever, and they they might not have the same political views, and so people literally made all our views there. So they mm -hmm. seen us in a picture, yeah. And it's kind of like, bruh, like. Yeah. To be fair though, I've avoided going to events because I might end up in a picture with somebody. But why? Why though? Because I don't need no pictures of me and Candace Owens floating around right now. Oh, uh, okay. You know but, what I mean? But like, see, like, like I've, I've I've intentionally done that because like until like I sit down with her and we can have a real conversation. Yeah. I'm not gonna be caught up in a photo with her or Brandon Tatum or like some of the like the, like the black conservative space. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just I'm cool. You yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but my 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 thing is it's like I think it's problematic that we make people. That we make people things, of, you know, or make people, like, give people positions based on who we see them in the pictures with. Yes. Like, it's just like, come yes. on, like, we have to do a better job. We struggle. Thinking. It's, it's all or nothing thinking. We struggle with yeah, that. And it's yeah. kind of like, come on, guys. Yeah. Think a little deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I, I remember when, not, not even to get off the whole po politics thing, but even Jackie, my wife Jackie, she was seeing, she was at some conference, I forget what it was, with, like, I think it was, like, Bethel mm -hmm. or... Hill song, mm -hmm. or I forget one of them. The reform circle just went in. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're not one of us. Yeah. And it's yeah. like it's it's like this deep tribalism. Oh yeah. Culture that we that we live in. Nobody. She was at a conference, <laughs> right? And she took a picture with them. Yeah. And it was so many people on YouTube who basically started to say that she was a false teacher because she's seen a Jackie Hill Perry associates with false teachers. Jackie Hill Perry is seen with you know her this being her friend. And it's just like, you know what they didn't ask? What did Jackie Hill Perry teach when she was at this conference? Yeah, that's good. That's, and that's, you know, <laughs> because, 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 listen, because it's not about the gospel. We try to act like it's about the gospel, but we act like politician Christians more than real Christians. That's good. That's we, good. We try to act like it's really about the gospel. Yes. Nobody cared about, nobody, I, I saw not one comment. I saw not one YouTuber asking, what did she teach? Yep. Yep. And her message changed. Yes. yes. No, nobody cared about that. Right. Right. They just cared about who she was in a picture with. That's right. That's and right. It's like, is this seventh grade yeah. or is this the body of Christ? Yeah. And it just shows you how much we have been conditioned by the world. Mm -hmm. And we just put the we put the Bible stamp on it mm -hmm. and we think that we're being faithful Christians. It's mm -hmm. like, no, you're actually being Pharisees who don't ask That's right. questions. That's right. Check this out. What if the very things that Christian culture often dismisses as worldly actually aren't bad desires? What do I mean by that? It's obvious that the world values things like money, fitness, fame, and immediate gratification. But I like to propose that those natural human desires can actually be redirected with God's words and God's ways of doing things in order to bring glory to him and serve our neighbor on this side of eternity. And I like to call this very concept God-driven ambition. And we'll be unpacking all of this at my very first live podcast in-person gathering happening August 26th in Oceanside, California. We'll have GodLogic Apologetics, Pastor Jeff Moores from Rhythm Church, John Keith, Trizzle Fitness, and hosted by my guy Ray Rock. Lock it in on your calendars right now, Saturday, August 26th in Oceanside, California at Rhythm Church. Click the button down below or go to RuslanLive.com to get more information and get your ticket now. Same exact thing. Ruslan defends associating with Joel Olstein, Bill Johnson, Bill Johnson's Bethel. So the same exact thing happened to me, and there's a whole article about uh, Bro. because I did an event, a virtual event, mind you, a 30-day, 30 31-day wisdom challenge, and every day they'd have somebody else on that they were interviewing. Yeah. And so they had me on a day, and like a week before they had Joel Osteen on. And so the, the packaging was literally Ruslan partners with Joel Osteen. Oh, my God. Like, Joel Osteen has no idea who Ruslan is. Bro. Yeah, yeah. And, and, it's so, and, and you know what? I think, I think it's lazy thinking. Yes. And I also think it's just slander. Right. It's just people do not care about it. Is it is a it's it's love like it's a very loveless thing. You have so quote unquote Christians out there 
who don't love people well. Yeah, yeah. And it's very obvious on how you loosely you can make a whole YouTube video mm -hmm. just because you've seen somebody in a picture with yeah. somebody. Well, uh, and, and to your point, what was the message? Because a lot of them folks that were there for Bethel or whoever, yeah. right, probably needed to hear from Jackie. The folks that were there for Bill Johnson and Joel Osteen needed my talk and my perspective on Proverbs and wisdom yeah. and, and speaking against some of the stuff they, they talk about. And these people, the same people who say this about you, say this about Jack, say this about me, they don't know the, a lot of them, I won't say all of them, but a lot of them don't know the the half about what it what, what it means to be evangelistic. Yeah. They don't, they don't, like, they can never go into spaces because their idea of being a faithful Christian is calling out non-faithful Christians. That's right. And it's like when you center a ministry around calling people out, yep. how much of a ministry do you really have? Yeah. A lot of these yeah. pages I'll never see present the gospel. Yeah. It's like, okay, you've done a good job of tell, telling people what you think the gospel isn't, who's not. But it's like, when are you going to make Correct. a proclamation of the gospel? 100%. 100%. It's just like, come on, man. I'm a big fan. This is the reason why I started Bold TV, talking to people. I'm a big fan of I never treat people. When I meet a Jehovah's Witness, I don't. I never treat the Jehovah's Witness like they're Jehovah, like they're a part of this group and I'm looking at the mm -hmm. lens of Jehovah's Witness. I see them as a person mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. But their own individual story, I never assume that yeah. they believe what the last Jehovah's Witnesses believe. Yeah. And so when I meet a white person, I do the same thing. Yeah. When I meet a black person, I do the same yeah. thing. I, I, I think Jesus came and modeled that, no, I care about individuals. Yep. I don't lump people in with right. a group of people, even if they came from that group of people, right? right? right. right. And so I, I just think that we have to do a better job of listening to people and hearing stories, and we will learn a lot more, yeah. and we will talk a lot less. Hopefully this this will be helpful. We'll see how people react to this conversation. <laughs> you know, you always want to get people. Here. I think it will be helpful. And you know what? You know what? You know one thing I, 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 I realized, and I think God kind of told me a couple years ago, mm. it's going to be people in the comment section. And I and I'm and I'm not, I'm not afraid to say this. It's probably going to be, going to be people in the comment section who disagree, and some people legitimately disagree. But some people who are going to disagree in this comment section are fake mad. Mm. Mm. They're mm. not like a lot of times we 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 get moved and rattled by the majority of the people. But it's just like it's a, it's a person's going to watch this, and you're really just bored in your room, and you just want to make a negative comment to entertain yourself. Mm -hmm. You're not really mad, mm. you're not really moved. Mm -hmm. It's just Tuesday, <laughs> and you have nothing. To, you have mm -hmm. nothing to do. Yeah, it's selective outrage. It's a selective yeah. outrage. And so for me, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do ministry. I'm gonna try to be a thought leader the best I can in that because I'm a fallen human being. I'm gonna make mistakes, but I'm never gonna like. As long as I, 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 I feel like I'm true to the Lord, true to my family, true mm -hmm. to myself. I try to stick to to scripture. I'm never gonna like kick myself when I see people mad on the internet because mm -hmm. a lot of it is selective outrage. A lot of it is people not really mad for real, yeah. and some people are really mad for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You have to pray about that. You have to pray that God keeps you away from error. Admit, and be humble when you're wrong. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we're human beings having yeah. a conversation, and so yeah, I wouldn't sweat it. All so. right, guys, we're gonna go over to our Patreon exclusive. I got a couple more questions for per uh, Chris Preston Perry specifically. Uh, when Roe v. Wade got overturned and some of the backlash that he caught uh, or didn't catch. I want to talk about that. So, Hey, if you want to see the extended version of this podcast completely unedited, consider partnering with us in our online community for as little as $5 a month. In exchange, you get access to these podcasts as we stream them live before anyone else gets to see them, you get access to the replay of our daily after party streams, access to our private Discord server, access to discount codes, and so much more. So help us continue consexualizing the gospel through media, podcasting, and YouTube, and partner with us for as little as $5 a month. Also, be sure to follow us on the Spotify podcast app, on Facebook, and on Instagram, we're constantly posting content there that I think you'll find extremely valuable. All right, I'll see you over there. Peace.